everybody, thank you for watching. I've got an H&K USB compact and a variant 3-4 detent plate in front of you, and I'm going to change this detent plate and put it in this gun, even though I'm not an H&K armorer. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've only been an H&K owner for a week, as you guys know. Uh, my first shots video was uh, about a week ago with this thing, and uh, I fell in love right away. My only issue with it that I, that I really was concerned with with carrying it was the safety, I actually engaged it once during the first shots video, accidentally somehow out of the holster. Now, through training, getting used to a new gun, that type of thing, I probably, I might never do it again. But I plan on carrying it cocked and law, or uh, uh, sorry, double action anyway. Um, so why would I ever want to risk having to pull this gun out to defend life and the safety is on when I'm expecting a uh, double action trigger. So um, that's going to be turned into just a decocker, so it will no longer push up as a safety. I do have a new lever on the way also that's clean, no S and no F on it, so that'll be eliminated. It'll have a nice clean look, I think, on the slide there. So um, let's get to it. Now, again, I'm no H&K armorer whatsoever, but looking at the schematics of the gun um, and how it works, I just don't think it's going to be that difficult. I did cheat and watch a YouTube video, just like you guys are watching, though. And uh, that is a detent plate right there. Now this pin has to be pushed out, but you don't want to push it too far. I'm only going to push it where it's flush with the frame here, the inside of the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Push that in. The There is a flag down here. It's a part that you can see the detent plate is under spring tension. I don't know how much spring tension is there, so if you can't see this part, I apologize. I just want to make sure this doesn't fly out. I'm not familiar enough with it to see if it's going to fly out or not. So I'm going to keep my finger on it, push down on the pin, and there is a detent plate. Okay, like this. And as you can see the difference, that one obviously has a different slot than this one. This one will just be a decocker. This one had a safety also. Let's put that aside. and. The long rectangle here lines up with the rectangle shape of the shaft on the lever. All right, that is under spring tension, so I'm going to have to put that down. And I'm going to push the plate down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just going to reach around back and pop that pin. Okay. Make sure the pin is pushed through enough, but not too far. Wow. Uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> now we just have a decocker. Now, from what I uh, <laughs> saw on the uh, schematics and on the video also, Changing the lever out will be a little bit more involved, um, but I'm willing to give that a shot. And guys, I do happen to know a certified HK armor that is in my area. So if I happen to jack something up, I do have a, a, a bailout. I can, it's actually a uh, law enforcement officer. Okay. Okay, no safety. As you can see, I can't push up anymore, so I can't accidentally engage that. Wow, that's very smooth. That actually feels... It's, it's positive. You can definitely feel it, but very smooth. Very, very easy. So, so there you go, guys. Detent plate changed. Um, went from a variant 1 which is a safety and a decocker to a very three, which is a decocker only. And that is the way I'm going to carry the gun. So uh, why not just make it a variant three? Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, be safe.